hello guys welcome back to piping engineers in today's video guys we will learn about the different parts of centrifugal pumps we will see how her centrifugal pump works what are the different functions of the centrifugal pumps in the industry so guys for more videos and updates please like follow and subscribe to our channel so let's begin our today's video and start the journey of learning guys what is a pump the basic question that is required before we start the video so guys a pump is basically a device that that is used to move fluids your solid waste your chemicals your slurries by mechanical action from one place to another it is one of the basic component we can see it in our houses we can see it in the industries and wherever we want to move the fluids with the help of a piping system we use pumps so guys there are two important factors or the components which helps in deciding the pumps one is your flow and another is your head so what is the flow guys flow means what is the minimum amount of fluid that is required to be transferred or pumped from one place to another that is the flow and head is basically the pressure at which we want our fluid to reach at a particular point so these two components are really used to you know define the pump or to select the pump basically from principal point of view there are two types of pumps one is your dynamic pumps and one other is your displacement pumps so in dynamic pumps basically they you have a rotating rotor and the rotating forces uh, are used you know to transmit the fluids from one place to another so they can be further classified as your centrifugal pumps this is how a centrifugal pump looks your submersible pumps and maybe some and other vertical centrifugal pumps while in displacement pumps you we have mechanical devices like we have gear pumps piston pumps and lobe pumps so they they with the help of positive displacement they transmit the fluid from one one place to another we have a, a pump series we will put it here in the playlist you can go and watch all the different videos on pump we have videos on pump head loss calculations how the pump sizing is done and different uh, uh, suction sizes is done so you can watch it here in the playlist uh, by clicking on the i button moving on to the next slide uh, what are the different parts of the centrifugal pump so basically this video we have made to uh, discuss the different parts of the centrifugal pumps so although there are many different parts a centrifugal pump has as it's a mechanical device but we will be discussing here majorly uh, the important parts uh, which we uh, come to uh, you know in day day to day life uh, so one one is your impeller so the basic and the most important part is the impeller so impeller is the rotating part in the pumps pump uh, which which transmits fluid from one place to another so the rotating uh, part or the or a part which is having blades uh, uh, tied or welded on a disc that is your impeller so the impeller is the rotating part which uh, which helps in taking the fluid from suction side and uh, transmitting it from discharge side so uh, this is the impeller so impeller are basically made up of bronze polycarbonate cast iron stainless steel so depending upon the operation for which a pump is selected the impeller material is selected and uh, as the performance of the pump depends upon the type of the impeller used it is very important to select the design and select the sizing of the impeller properly if the impeller is selected wrongly then your pump may not be uh, able to deliver for which which it is has been selected or for which it has it has been designed so basically from design point of view there are two different types of impellers one is your open impeller and another is your closed impeller open impeller as the name suggests and how it looks like this so basically there are blades just on a rotating disc or a, or a sing or a simple cast iron circular disc so these are quite stronger and are mostly used in industrial applications so this this is your open impeller second is your closed impeller so this is how a closed impeller looks like so basically there are two discs and in between two discs the blades are there so we have closed impellers closed impellers are basically used where the water quality is very fine because uh, there may be chances uh, that if water quality is not good that your uh, soluble solids may get deposited within the plates and impeller get choked and it will not be able to deliver for what it has been selected so there are these are two types of impellers that are uh, uh, used in the industry moving on to guys uh, uh, third part is casing casing is again uh, the you know it, it it can be called as the outer hub of the pump or the outside body of the pump is known as casing casing is basically the mother in which everything is mounted so this is your casing uh, it is the it is basically casted cast uh, made up of casting uh, made by casting process and after casting just some machining is done to improve the 
uh, improve the strength and uh, look wise of the product so casing basically it has impeller it has suction and delivery ends and thereby it forms the pressure vessel it is basically a pressure vessel in because it is it have a rotating body which rotates and generates the pressure which helps in transmitting fluid from one place to another uh, it has the bearing supporting and bearing medium for the shaft and impeller so everything that is rotating inside the pump is mounted or your or you know placed inside the casing therefore the pump casing should be designed to provide easy access for all parts of the pump so as i told you majority of the parts rotating parts of the pump is inside the casing because this is the uh, circular chamber uh, this is the uh, pressure chamber we can say uh, in which the pressure is built up and the fluid pressure uh, is generated inside this casing so this is the important part and it should be designed properly so that uh, uh, proper in proper access for all the parts can be done and whenever maintenance is required it can be done uh, next is your shaft shaft you know as by the name suggests uh, shaft is the it transfer your torque from motor to the impeller during startup and and operation of the pump so your shaft is basically uh, the rotating part which connects your motor uh, pump motor with the impeller so it is it is a you know horizontal type uh, long rod uh, to be speak to to speak in layman's language that connects your motor with your pump so this is your shaft uh, next is your coupling coupling you would you would all have uh, heard uh, in some other applications also so coupling is basically it is the interconnecting part which connects uh, pump which connects pump with the motor so the speed of the uh, the speed of the power so speed or power from motor is transmitted via coupling to the pump so this is your uh, so this is your coupling here you can see this is your coupling this horizontal part is your shaft this is your motor this is your pump in, inside the pump here you have impeller this is your suction side your discharge side so most of the parts uh, are shown in this slide moving on to uh, next is your one of the most important part of the pump is your bearings so bearings you all know of uh, bearings plays different roles and different applications so first first role that bearing play here is they support the shaft and also they provide the rotating medium so uh, to hold the shaft in position bearing bearing and bearing housing is used and also to facilitate shafts frictionless movement we use this bearings bearings are one of the critical components of pump as improper selection leads to pump failure if you are if you have not selected the bearings uh, your motor may may run out and there may be problem of misalignment uh, in the pump and motor so your bearing and bearing housing is one of the important component that that has to be properly designed while we are designing a pump so this is uh, these are all major parts of the pump uh, which we use day, uh, day in day out so if you refer this picture below so you can see here the major parts of the pump this is your impeller this is your suction nozzle this is your volute this is your discharge nozzle again this is your casing i told you case in casing your impeller your discharge nozzle suction nozzle and maximum rotating parts and bearing and bearing housing everything is mounted here uh, in inside the casing so this is your shaft as uh, you can see from this section this is your shaft there somewhere here it will be your motor so these are shaft rings and this is uh, this is you know seals why seals are provided because uh, these are mechanical parts and metal to metal parts may may have leakage so to avoid this leakage we provide seals basically uh, to seal it and to make it a, a perfect uh, medium so that nothing can flow nothing spills out from the system so these are basic parts of the uh, pump uh, other than that which we have discussed which have no which we have not discussed in this slide so guys i hope you learned something in today's video and uh, guys thank you for watching the video for more videos and updates please like follow and subscribe to our channel thank you for watching the today's video